Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Before I get started, I'm going to give you a quick hot tip. I'm just trying to get a sandwich in here. Um, I don't want my scrolls to burn. I love getting the scroll holder. I, I don't really like the range weapon holder. It's cool that it uh, reduces speeds, recharge time, and reduces uh, decay time, ups the durability. But I don't want it because I don't want my scrolls to burn. So I'm actually going to drop these on the ground because if I have more of them than I do with scrolls, the merchant's going to offer me the uh, the range weapon holder. This I should have a name like a holster. I'm uh, pretty sure it's called like a wand holster. So now I only have three, right? Because wands count as well. One, two, three, and four. I'm just going to be super duper cautious here. Whenever I forget to do that, especially like after fighting goo, I'm always super disappointed and it really affects my inventory space because I'll end up with a lot more scrolls than I will ranged weapons over the long term. And the ranged weapons eventually, you know, I may use and they may break. So we go in here and sure enough, there is our scroll holder. Huzzah, we got it. Okay, let's get into it. In today's video, we are talking all things monk. If you saw a couple videos ago, I did a duelist quick guide. And I turned that into, we went from there, the next video, the duelist early game to getting overpowered. Well, I never got totally overpowered. I mean, kind of did. I got an end game build, which is a little more appropriate than saying overpowered because I didn't get like a tier five weapon or plate armor going crazy or nothing like that. But we, since we didn't get those, we got some other options and we actually went into that instead. It's a little more of a, it's a different type of build. It's. I wouldn't say more creative, but it's it's just different than if you look at your choices, super strong weapon, super strong armor, or a range abilities. And what goes really well with range well is mobility, you know, able to maintain that distance. So if we look at the monk's abilities here, things that are really going to help us with that are, well, this one in particular, because we're gonna need a lot of energy. And since we're using our wands for damage, we don't necessarily need a high, you know, tier weapon. So, you know, I gotta be honest, I've never tried the cloth armor or the studded gloves, but I did do a run with tier one weapon, the rapier, and I noticed I did have a lot of energy. I was nearly full most of the time, at least around 10 plus. So then speaking of a lot of energy, well, this next one, the empowered abilities are super good. So I like three in this because I want them to be empowered as much as I can. You know that last run, I never used focus. I don't think I've ever used focus, but I'm curious if we go in the cloth armor, which is, seems crazy, if we will have enough energy to constantly be using focus and not taking any damage. So the dragon kick super good, of course. And we could go for, uh, we could fish for good enchantments and maybe even like try them on the gloves. It sounds crazy, but I think I wanna, I wanna practice it. I wanna try it. I did try going cloth armor and I was like, oh, I'm going to put upgrade scrolls on it. And well, upgrade scrolls give it like plus one, plus one. It was doing nothing. But if we're doing all range, we have our hasty, uh, hasty ring and we can stay away from people. We can use um, the monk's utility to uh, to get out of tight situations. So speaking of that utility, let's look at the abilities, the flurry. Um, you know, it's probably better just to show them in practice rather than just uh, go talking about them right here and also look i did update to version 2.02 .02, so we should be current for the current uh date which is i don't know all right beer back so this is probably going to be kind of the worst situation we could have imagined running into because the bat is fast too like us so our haste isn't going to help us out much we don't have any energy up because this is the first enemy we encountered and you gain energy by killing enemies so when I was first looking at that and trying to go like cloth armor and stuff, I thought, well, how am I ever going to build energy like by punching people with these, you know, gloves? I'm just going to get destroyed. Well, that's where the wands come in. So I think what I'll do is since we are equal fast with the bat, I should be able to step back a little bit and then I should be able to create some distance here with the blast wave. Oh, and that's right. The AOE effect of the blast wave uh, set off the guardian trap. That's okay. The guardians, you know what? They're just gonna come and they're gonna bring us some weapons. They they can be our buddies like that. And then I think, unfortunately, I'm out of range for the uh, the Wanda Fire Blast here. So let's go ahead and um, a little quick slot up because I do have plenty of ranged weapons and I should just really start using them. You guys just take up a whole bunch of inventory space. I'll go with these ones. I kind of want to get them to about break and then just melt them down anyways. Kunai, we will use you. You can break. I don't care. There we go. 
So now we got one energy. Okay. So I'm going to keep track and see exactly like how much extra energy we get when we go in with this unencumbered spirit. Oh my God. Look what that alarm did. It brought all the bats all at once. <laughs> I was really hoping to get down over here. And then when the guardians come, I could just like knock them off into the pit. But we'll see what happens here. I have to deal with these bats first. I think a good technique is to burn them with fire. You know, when in doubt, choose fire. Fortunately, if I fire blast here, since I'm on grass, I'll also burn. So I think I may need to like step back to here. Unfortunately, I did see this door open, so I'm pretty sure I'm about to get insert. We'll see what happens. Okay, you first. Let's just go ahead and knock you back and get you paralyzed with your buddies there. That does a nice chunk of damage here I've, at plus four. I am enjoying that. And I think maybe we can reach the blast wave out here. I hope so. Okay, so they're all burning. And since they're next to each other, I'm pretty sure I can't knock them back. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but it did do some damage at least. So I think I may just go ahead and have to fight one at a time here. But let's look at our first ability here. Flurry of blows, one energy. The cool thing about this is it's instant strikes. Um, this damage, it does seem to go up. You know, at first I know, oh, okay, because it ignores armor. So that's the thing to focus on here because... Usually low damage weapons that are fast, you know, the, the scimitar is rather fast. It's not very fast. The very fast weapons, very low damage, but they don't ignore armor. Well, Flurry of Blows does. So if it didn't, you would just hit for zero damage twice. And it's like, it's the way I put it is, if I could hit you a million times in a row, I would win every time, right? Well, no, not if I'm hitting for zero, right? Um, but since this ignores armor, I didn't ever notice that. And anyways, then we go into the empower and when it's empowered, it it applies enchantments. So if I happen to have a good enchantment on, I can just sit there and spam the enchantment with the flurry blows. Also, um, it has no cooldown if the monk just successfully attacked an enemy. So your abilities have a cooldown. It's about five turns, so you can't just use them over and over again, but certain ones um, like Flurry of Blows gives you an, an opportunity to not have a cooldown. So basically you would attack regular and then you would follow up with the Flurry of Blows and then you could do it twice in a row if you want, which I actually enjoy. The The strategy for that is when the enemy just has a teeny little bit of health left and you want to be able to try and finish it off without taking any counter attack damage, well you can Flurry of Blows and then, I mean if you had just attacked you can Flurry of Blows twice in a row and then you can hopefully finish it off without getting counter attack. Because, oh, don't we all just hate when it just has one little hit left and it dodges and hits you back super hard? That is the worst. So let's figure out what we're going to do here. I think I could just be smacking. I think we could just be in smack range here. Because they're burning, they're going to take some damage. Um, I do want to actually quick... I don't want the bats to hit me because they're going to heal. So I think I may do my little quick swap over here to the quarter staff. Use my charges to get this defensive stance, which is going to be double my evasion. Then I think I may just go ahead and quick swap back to the scimitar. And I could use, I think I may be using the scimitar's abilities here. Yeah, I'm just going to use a lot of my resources because I know I have more enemies coming and we're kind of in a, we're in a literal tight situation. So let's go ahead and get out here and see if we can finish off these bats. Fantastic. Look at that. We did it. So first skill points. What should I get first? I do like unencumbered spirit. Let's just get that energy cruising. Probably a good idea. Tier 3 or lower equipment she is using. I think I'm using all tier 3. So yeah, tier 3. Tier 3. Let's do that. Probably get the energy or this one. They're, they're both good. Um, But I feel like this will be more effective the more energy we have, right? So I think I'll start with here. And maybe I'll go like 1 and 1 or something. So let's see who's coming from above me. One thing I've been super into lately is a tip I got from Reddit that... um. These traps here, they'll they destroy items, right? But if the item's enchanted, I mean if it's upgraded, it will not destroy it. So, you know, I could sell this, I'll get like a hundred gold or something for it. And but what I usually end up doing is like identifying it. I want to figure out if it's plus one, right? Well, I'm super hooked on doing this. It's just too much fun. Are you plus one? No, you're not plus one. Get out of here. I don't need the gold. But then when I do it to like 10 items in a row, well, I could have probably used that much gold. Oh well. Well, congratulations, we found our first victim of the Wanda Blast Wave. You're going. 
these guardian traps are just everywhere i'm just hitting them all the time and it didn't even knock it off it warped it it triggered a warping trap oh that is funny interesting thing though is i haven't found the summon guardians yet so uh we'll see i must have a whole army of them coming at me so looking at more abilities here we have the focus which i said earlier i'd never used um because it takes a turn so let's say you're in there in melee you're, you'd use a turn to focus you'd parry and then that's it it's like it does nothing but when it is empowered it doesn't take a turn so i could see using it like preparing to go into a fight and just having it ready but when you're actually in a fight if it's not empowered it's just like it's not not doing you any good um so what i'm thinking though is if we do have a whole bunch of extra energy we may be able to keep using it um but for the most part i don't use it much definitely needs to uh i need a little more a little more experience with this one just like just playing with it experimenting with it more just i mean because i've never even i don't really have much to really say because i never really used it i just figured it's not doing you anything if you have to spend a whole turn on it plus if the energy is a bit precious it's kind of a lot but let's go ahead on the dash is amazing use the dash all the time i love the dash and when it's empowered you can go five squares also it is instant so it doesn't even take a turn and then of course the all-star which i'm about to use right now is the dragon kick ignores armor does a chunk of damage um knocks them away and paralyzes them for each tile they travel so they don't need to hit a wall they're paralyzed no matter what and i'm pretty sure it does six tiles max because i was trying to like pick things off a ledge last run and uh i finally figured out pretty sure i counted it was six and to be honest we're gonna use it right now because we don't want this bat to hit us while we finish off little shami here let's go dragon kick on the bat and let's see so traveled one two traveled four so if we inspect it here yeah, it has four turns of paralyze. So if you hit it in the max range, you get max paralyze. And hopefully that will buy us enough time to take care of the snow. Okay, we did notice we are on cooldown now. Cooldown four more turns before we can use anything. So what I'm actually going to do is try and sneak around here and hope this is not a ranged creature. The bat, I don't want to kill you over the chasm because you'll you will drop my healing potion into the chasm. So let's hopefully just to kind of like chip it down a little bit. Well, I could maybe like blast wave it into the trap. That'd be cool. Okay, you're burning. And since you are flying, the water should not put you out, which I do love. And maybe we just knock it away. Yeah, get back. Get out of here. Nice. Okay, so we have a ring of accuracy plus one. That will maybe not help us a whole much. So let's see here. I'm trying to set up a little camp because I just hit that summon trap. So I want to lure, lure everyone here and just kick them into the edge. I think ring of accuracy plus one is the best percentage to increase your accuracy by. Nice. So we've looked at most of the abilities now, and let's get onto the one that makes the monk amazing choice for a ranged weapon, wand especially type build. Monk, if you wanted to go with the range, is kind of like the free runner. You know, with the rogue, if you want to go with ranged weapons, you would go with the free runner. Well, with the duelist, if you want to go ranged weapons, you'd probably choose the monk. And look at this. The Meditate 5 energy gives you 10 turns of wand recharging and artifact recharging. So look, that's like, I'm going to have so much food. Oh, I should eat. Speaking of, I mean, it's like I can just eat with full health now. It's amazing. So, and when it is empowered, you also heal 20% of missing and you gain damage resistance. So if something's smacking you, perhaps you can take a little less damage. So let's go ahead and do that now since our wands are a bit low. We just got a lucky drop of a one to lightning from a null shaman and it looks like it's plus one i zapped like three times in a row with it almost four so let's go ahead and meditate and get this wand recharging and artifact recharging that's my artifacts recharging i'm gonna eat this food yeah you can just start recharging and look at our wand our fire blast is already full again and our blast wave is gonna be full soon so one thing that i've noticed a downside of knocking everything into the cliffs off of cliffs is that I'm using my ranged weapons to, to grab their attention first and pull them back and then knock them off. And so with the pink cushion, all my ranged weapons are falling down too. So I'll be looting like random ranged weapons off the ground on the next floor, but that's okay. So little quick tip here. I don't recall looting a potion off this floor. You know, that would be my frost potion for this trap here. And if I go and look into my uh, 
list here, I don't have it identified. So out of all these potions I have, they are, they could be any of these. I just really don't feel like chucking potions or standing in here and drinking them. But since there is water, I'm pretty sure you can plant an ice cap. If it, if it wasn't water, it would immediately burn up. But since there's water here, I'm pretty sure I can get it right here. And then let's just like throw an item on there to trigger it. Yeah, that did the trick. All right, let's get in there and get our food. The haste build, the kiting build allows for some interesting opportunities. So this is a pitfall trap. It's going to make everything fall near it. So once these two get here, I can trigger that. And they should fall down to the next floor. Hopefully to their demise. So what do I want to send down with them? Well, let's send down a throwing hammer that I'm not using. Woohoo! <laughs> there they go. Too much fun. Alrighty, well, I feel like we are about wrapping it up with the monk. So I have gotten a couple more points in the empowered here. And this looks like this turns green now when it's empowered. So if we look here, we're at 12 of 12. So we're definitely empowered. I I think that must be with the new patch. It used to be more of like a golden, I thought. But anyway, so I'm going to meditate because my wand was a bit low and I immediately got two charges and I get a couple more um, charges of ref recharge going here and artifact recharging. So I can get some more food coming on in. And let's just watch this cool down quick. So I'm curious what color it's going to be when it's not in power. So far, things are going Pretty smooth. Yeah, see now you get more of this little golden color here. This kind of off yellow. But yeah, you know, so far things are going pretty smooth. It's just running away, shooting stuff with my wands. Um, let me know if you want to see this game taken to the end game. And I could pretty sure I could beat it with this. I'm just going to get probably two more in here. So we're at plus 10. And then I mean not plus eight. Well, 10 charges is kind of my what I like to get with the wands. And then I might get a couple more in here for a little extra damage, a little more. And I definitely don't think I'm doing any armor. This is just going to be a runaway from everything type build, which is pretty fun to do. Nice change of pace. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions for the monk. And let's play around more with this focus and, and flurry of blows a little bit more too. Let me know if you find some good builds that work with that. Because, you know, for the most part, we're just dashing and kicking. And then when we're low on charges, we meditate. Um, that should be it. So I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Cheers and get those sandwiches in.